Ip Man 3 is the third film in the Ip Man film series, which is inspired by the life of Bruce Lee's master, Ip Man. Um, Ip Man 1 and 2 starred Donnie Yen, and Donnie Yen once again returns in the title role. Donnie Yen, the uh, martial arts action superstar, is as always is as good as he's been in the first two films and continues in the role quite well. Um, in Ip Man 3, uh, Ip Man runs afoul with a, uh, a brutal gangster who's played by Mike Tyson as he takes a stand against Tyson and his uh, crew as they try to take over a school uh, which for some reason they feel they need to take control of, not for educational purposes but for control of the city and Ip Man takes a stand against them and that leads to a one of the better fights in the film as Ip Man has to take on this this uh, gangster played by Mike Tyson. Uh, there are other developments in this film and unfortunately uh, those developments aren't as good as the the entire uh, gangster uh, subplot. Uh, in Ip Man 1 it was basically obviously our introduction to Ip Man as he takes a stand to defend his city and in Ip Man 2 he uh, basically takes a stand to defend his is martial art, the martial arts in China. And in this one, it this is the weakest one in the group as it's quite unfocused as a lot of the subplots that are okay, there's three subplots in this film and all of them with the exception of one don't really lead to any or not to say don't lead anywhere but don't lead to satisfactory conclusions and it seems that it feels like they're haphazardly put together. Uh, you have the subplot with uh, Mike Tyson's gangster, which uh, the, the subplot felt like it was just a lead up to, to that fight. And then when the fight is done, that's it. We never see Tyson again, and that subplot is never addressed again. It seemed like it needed a little afterwards, uh, or a postscript, to just say what exactly went down after this. Uh, the fight was great. It was great to see Tyson and, and Yen go at it. Uh, they, they, uh, uh, Chinese boxing versus... Uh, well, I guess you would say street boxing, or whatever form of boxing that would be back in the 1950s or 60s, uh, which is when this film takes place. Uh, the other subplots involve his uh, Ip Man's wife, which was a tad melodramatic, and another one involves a uh, a uh, fellow martial artist who who proves to be not just a ally but also a rival. And that one also felt a little half-baked as it seemed like it was more just there just to lead up to a fight at the end. And when it's over, it kind of like, hmm, okay, that subplot's done with. And that's basically how I didn't get that feeling in the first two Ipmon films. And those two were actually really solid films, and this one was pretty much a letdown. This is almost the equivalent of the karate, not to say it was as bad, but this would be like the equivalent of the Karate Kid Part 3 in the Karate Kid trilogy. Not counting the other two, you know, the next Karate Kid, Karate Kid remake. Uh, that's how this one felt. So it's the weakest one in the group and uh, hopefully it's not the last. And, um, but uh, like I said, it is the weakest one. It has two solid fights, the Tyson fight and the fight at the end between the two rivals. And uh, there's maybe a a uh, there's a fight that involves uh, um, no actually I stand corrected I, I was confused it with Ip Man too there there is no fight of that nature uh, but yeah so the the big highlights obviously are the Tyson fight and the the fight with his rival at the end of the film but other than that it's there's really not much else to recommend it's almost like your standard old school martial arts movie where you're just there for the fights and the story takes uh, a back seat so um, if you're a fan of the Ip Man series uh, do check it out but uh, don't expect anything as good as the first two and if you're just a martial arts fan yeah give it a look and just look forward to the fights uh, but other than that I would have to give Ip Man 3 two and a half stars out of five so there you have it. If you like this review, hit that like button below. Have you heard of Ip Man, the movie series? Have you heard of Ip Man? And uh, what would you think of the film series so far? And were you looking forward to the third part? Uh, or have you seen part three?
please comment below and let me know. I'm curious to find out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so you can stay on top of my reviews as they come in. And as always, when you have the chance, please check out ErnieTrinidad.com. So until next time, we'll see you at the movies.